Howdy guys, what's up? My name's Sarah, and today I'm going to be drawing Talon. So, um, first off, I'd like to say I used a tutorial to help me figure out how to draw um, the a realistic kind of, not as cute kind of comic booky style. So, I'll include that tutorial, and it really helped me. And uh, hopefully you like what I've done with this sketch. And it is only a sketch right now, but um, hopefully I'll find out a good way to color it because I I really want to do it justice. And uh, that should be good. Um, I'll keep you guys posted. I want to try to do something with outlines, so we'll see. Um, you see me do that thing where I tell you not to do, where I start with the eyes first and then go out to just straight out draw the pose. And I never suggest that, but I always do it. Yeah, that's something good I do. Um, so you see me kind of um, get that facial structure in. I know that nose is a little bit long. It's actually very long. But um, if it looks good, it's not distracting. It's fine. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I need to work on my facial structure, and maybe that will get changed in later phases. But you see me just try to sketch out the... Um, muscle structure before I get the clothes on him because that's kind of where the core is. That's how I know where to put the clothes and it's how I know how to fold the clothes too. <laughs> I need to know how to fold the clothes via muscles. Oh gosh, you, you guys are never going to be able to apply any of this stuff to what you're doing. <laughs> I learned how to fold clothes on a picture today. Thanks, Script Kitty. You've really won the internet. Um. <laughs> Here's where I throw it into widescreen mode so that I can um, make it into a background and really utilize all of the um, blank space but not kind of draw away from the hero. And you see that he's in the left hand third of the screen and I think this video is actually flipped so you guys are going to think I'm dumb. But anyway, he's in the um, third part of the um, with column and I really didn't care too much about the height column even though I should have. Um, it's just a simple rule of thirds thing where you like make a grid on your page and then you put powerpoints in. Um, you put powerpoints into your drawings. Um, no, that's just what they call them and it's where the grids intersect so um, you have four kind of in the corners but they're more centered. So, Oh, here's why I flip it because um, that's like a fact checker almost. like. Am I just too used to this? And um, so when you flip it, you stop being used to it. You start critically assessing it. So then you see, well, his uh, his muscle structure isn't so great in the stomach area, but I don't realize that yet. I prior to me realizing it. And so I clean up his facial structure a little bit and actually shorten that nose, I believe. Um, and so you see me kind of block out the shading with some cross hatching, which is um, not so important in this phase, but it helps me realize where the light source is. And here's where I decide that my um, muscles on him, that my abdomatic in the middle just didn't happen. So I redrew everything again, and uh, that's a lot of what sketching is. It's redrawing it so it looks perfect as opposed to less than perfect. <laughs> which is what I always end up with. So maybe I need to more, some more, spend some more time sketching. Who knows? But um, you'll actually notice that I hate those belts. Um, I hate those belts. They are not helping anything. He doesn't have any ammo or knives on them. He, they're just belts. And you may not notice, but I'm not even wearing a belt today. I am not for the unnecessary belts. I'm against this movement. I'm wearing a vest attached to shorts. It's like suspenders. I'm wearing suspenders today. And not a belt that is useless. Um, so, here's where you see me go back into those um, strandy things. And I want to make sure people know they're leather and remind myself that they're leather. So I give them a little bit of a... Uh, oh, this is where I put in the background. All right, well, yeah, I give them a little bit of thickness, um, which you can see. I originally wanted to do, like, a Katarina in the background, getting kind of, like, owned, but then I decided to do a Trindamir. 
And this pose is kind of inspired by his alt. And I'm not the biggest fan of tri of um <laughs> not the biggest fan of Trinamira either. But I don't really like Talon that much. I he just he doesn't bring anything new to the fight that you know an assassin really should. His ultimate's pretty cool, but I mean Vayne's ultimate is like going stealth and going very fast. And uh, she has the mobility, and it's it's just like I've seen it before, and it's not really razzle dazzle now for me. Oh, here's where I learned how to draw his shurikens or whatever they are, and then I promptly forgot, I guess, because I just erased it. Okay, so anyway, um, here's why I start drawing the smoke coming off of him because I really don't know how to draw stealth mode other than a uh, smoke cloud, which is. I mean, that's okay. It's not like I'm going to draw him transparent. I feel like I feel like that's an inaccurate way to draw him stealthy in a drawing. In the game it works, but in my drawing it probably won't so well. It'll just look bad. Um, so you have to make those artistic decisions, and it's really hard. It's very challenging being an artist and making these decisions. And uh, especially because I'm so good at it. You should probably thumbs up this video, by the way. Speaking of me being good at everything, um, if you don't like how I'm doing something, don't thumbs down it. Just comment. It's it's a little bit nicer. It makes me feel a little bit better. Um, so here you see me continue to tone up his muscles. Um, again, this is the last real step where I articulate things, and I go into color zombie mode, which is not good. Um, I just color everything as it is and lose all will to live. Um, so I become a zombie and color it and then as soon as I'm done I'm back to normal. So um, yeah, hopefully I don't go into color zombie mode this time. I can't help it sometimes. So you see me continue to block out the uh, shading and I think at the end of this I actually include a light source so you guys can see where I was kind of going with that and I'm just struggling with that arm. He has like you know, an arm that's incredibly useful because it's tied to a blade. And then he has another arm that's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> I can eat some tea with this. I can have a crumpet or a biscuit. And that doesn't describe everything I want to do right now. Sort of does. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys like this, and I'll see what I can do about posting the uh, coloring. Thanks, and have a nice day.